Good morning from the Philippines. How do you attract the best looking Filipinas? Well, the first thing you do is you pick an attractive Filipina that you are attracted to. You see, the rules of the game are very different here than back home in the West where you are. In the West, it's all about the way you look and obviously the age you are. And again, obviously, your finances. Now, I'm not trying to say none of those things play a part over here, but so long as you're not a pauper, the way you look shouldn't be an obstacle. If you're going online to look for a Filipina, don't just look for anyone and make do. Don't have that mentality that you've lived with forever back where you are. Well, I'll be lucky just to find someone. She's not really my type, but better than nothing. I just hope she's a good sort. You don't have to play by those rules anymore. Those rules are out the window here. Listen, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what's good for you, regardless of the way the Filipina looks, is fine. However, don't go for second best. If you're looking on a site such as Filipino Cupid or whatever, choose the Filipinas that you are highly attracted to. Don't go crazy if I were you, if you're 60 odd years old and you see a really attractive 20 year old, I wouldn't go there. The age difference is too wide. But apart from things like that, the world, as I keep telling you, is your oyster here. I always revert back to my experiences on Match.com back in the UK, back in the West. So when I was looking at profiles, I wanted women that I was attracted to. And sometimes I chose ones that, that were just averagey looking because I thought that's as good as I could get at my age anyway. And they weren't really what I wanted, but my mentality adapted to the mentality of the West. Well, Phil, what the hell are you gonna get if you don't go for her or her? You're hardly gonna go for that beautiful girl on match.com who's 35 years old and looks like a model, are you? Unless you're dumb enough to believe that or you send her a fake photo and you never talk to her on cam and when she sees you, it's thank you, you don't look like your photo, goodbye. Those rules apply there, not here. The only real rule or rules that apply here are, don't come here if you can't support yourself and a Filipina financially. You will fail. That's a no-no. Don't come here if you're in your 90s expecting to find an attractive, youngish Filipina because you will fail. I wouldn't advise coming here if you have serious medical issues like heart problems or you've had cancer that might reoccur things of that nature, I wouldn't advise you to come here. But apart from that, it is plain sailing. Get rid of that mentality of that. Remember those stale breadcrumbs I talked about? Forget those. You're going to have beautifully fresh baguettes here. That's the stark contrast. 
So, you hold all the power in so much as whether you come here to meet someone and find someone blindly or you do which, uh, what the majority of people do, go online, the dating sites, you hold the power because if you choose her and you're just making do, she's okay looking, she seems quite nice, I've been chatting to her, you might regret it. You come here, you see the beautiful Filipinas. Why did I choose her? I see other foreigners with really attractive Filipinas. You will only have yourself to blame. Like I said, get rid of that way of thinking. You're not in the West anymore. Even if you're in the West and you're on the dating sites, a Filipino dating site, get rid of that mentality. That mentality is null and void now. It might be the norm where you are in the West, be it America, be it Australia, be it Europe, be it wherever, wherever. It does not apply here in terms of your looks. Now, can I give a cast iron guarantee that if you're really, really plain looking, and you meet a really, really highly attractive Filipina in the Philippines, she's not just using you. Can I guarantee you 100% that is not going to happen? No, I can't. Because it's the luck of the draw. You know, there are Filipinas who aren't particularly nice people, who are scammers. We know that. Just as in the West, there are women who aren't particularly nice people that's why it's critical it's crucial that you do your research as well as you can and at least minimize that risk and keep watching for any signs that all is not well with who you've chosen before you get in too deep Let's assume you've met a decent Filipina. You've picked the one that you're attracted to. She's in the age group you wanted. She lives in an area you think you will feel comfortable living in. Maybe it's a city. Maybe it's Manila. You don't want to go anywhere else but Manila because it's the capital. You don't mind the suburbs, but... You don't want anything like Mindanao, you don't, you know, you've heard things about there, too far down. Cebu, you're not interested in. You just want the largest island with the capital. It feels safe. You come from maybe the capital in your own country, like for like. That's fine, it doesn't matter where you choose so long as you're happy. The most important thing is to find that right Filipina. And it's all very well talking about loyalty in a Filipina, that they're genuine. Those things are critically important. But if you're picking just an average looking Filipina, when you don't have to, when you're not really attracted to her, I'm sorry, then that's down to you. Don't think in your head, plain, simple looking Filipinas are all loyal, are all wonderful. And beautiful Filipinas, haha, <laughs> they've got to be scam artists because they're too beautiful. Don't think like that because I'm sure there are plenty of plain Filipinas that are scammers as well. Don't do it to yourself. Go for who you are attracted to. You couldn't ever do that in the West, you can do it here. Don't mess it up. You don't have to settle for second best. I can't make it any plainer than that. You hold that power. Use that power wisely. Use that power to your advantage. 
no offence to a plain looking Filipina. You are what you are. And I'm sure most are lovely people. And I'm sure some will meet foreigners that are happy with them. But not all foreigners want that. They want the attractive Filipinas. They want some kind of attraction. And it's up to you, it's down to you to go for that. It's not hard. You don't have to search for a thousand years. You don't have to know you're going to be dumped the way it would be there. Back home. And there are so many attractive Filipinas. They're not all bums. They're not all scammers. And there's quite a few that will want you. Provided you treat her with respect. You have the required finances. That's not about her being a Filipina. That applies to any relationship anywhere on this planet. So don't think this finance business is exclusively about Filipinas. No woman anywhere is going to be interested if you have no money. It's the way the world works. And we are a part of that world, whether you're in the West or whether you're in the Philippines. But the point I try to raise about the Philippines and the paradigm shift you need to make is the opportunity, are the opportunities that exist here, that do not exist there. There, I keep looking where my finger is pointing. There. If you want to get out of that matrix you live in, that's leading you down a rabbit hole, down a dead end, down nowhere, as you're incrementally, day by day, getting older. Then come here and find the Filipina, not just of your dreams, because it's more than just your dreams. Dreams are something that are that's unobtainable. You know when you were younger and you used to watch a movie on TV and you really fell in love with the actress and you wished she could be yours. Maybe you were only 13, 14, 15 years old, but she was unobtainable. The beautiful women here are not. I don't turn around and say you can get every single beautiful Filipina, but there are so many you will be able to find more than one. So if you're looking and you see one that's nice, that's attractive, but you don't really get on with her, don't think to yourself, I can't look any further because she's beautiful. I never get another beautiful Filipina. If she's not right for you, move on. There are other equally, if not more, physically beautiful Filipinas. I'm not trying to be stuck on this. The way they look physically is so important. It's the most important thing a woman can have. No, I know the most important things are loyalty, that they care about you. I know all about that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm talking about finding a Filipina that you are attracted to. Don't do it to yourself. Now, if you're the type of guy that doesn't really care about the way people look, is about who they are inside, then that's well and good. Good for you. Life's going to be even easier for you because you just get chatting to whoever. And if she fulfills the requirements of being nice and loyal and genuine, it doesn't matter how she looks. You're done and dusted. But I know, speaking as a man myself, for the vast majority of guys, 
They want something more than that. You will find something more than that. Like I said, toss away that Western mentality of I can only have stale breadcrumbs because nobody wants me. Throw that in the garbage can. Throw that in the trash can. Throw that in the garbage dump. Here you're worth more than that. Understand you're worth more than that. And once you do understand you're worth more than that, it's game on. Game on. You have the chance to permanently better your mundane life. Take full advantage of that chance. Don't let it slip away. Because when you hit 65, 75, 85, it slipped away. It's too late for you. I can't make it any plainer. I can only tell you what I can only tell you. I can only raise my voice so loud to make you sit up and listen. People used to accuse me of having a monotone voice. I don't seem to have that monotone voice so much anymore. Part of the reason for that monotone voice was I was making videos when my young son was sleeping in the bedroom, so I had to keep my voice low. Well, I'm up here now. I don't need that voice. I don't care whether you're coming here this year, next year, five years, 10 years time. All I care about is that you take full advantage of the opportunity that will still exist here in 10 years time. Unless you're 90 years old in 10 years time, forget it, man, forget it, you're too old. When you come here and you find everything you've been looking for, you will forget about me quite rightly. I'll have done my job. I'll have kept that fire alight in your belly. How do you think I got here? I had to keep that fire alive in my belly. No one else was going to do it for me. And I refused. I refused to meet failure again head on. I was going to be the master of failure. And turn that into success. Which I did. Which you are too. When it's your time. Because you have to, because your life or the happiness of your life depends on the Philippines, on finding your Filipina, not your dream girl. Like I said, dreams exist in your sleep. Forget those before you find the Filipina you, not me, not him, not him, 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 him but what you want. Because you are the most important person. You are going to live the rest of your life by making those right decisions now. And even if the right decision now is to get saving because you're not ready yet to come and meet a Filipina in the Philippines, then get saving. 
keep watching these types of videos get saving research 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 and save some more be armed and ready for your destiny for your kismet you have one chance in life before you're too old Grab that and use it wisely. We're lucky. We have this opportunity. It, it exists. Sure, it exists in Thailand. They don't talk English, the majority there. It exists probably in Indonesia, but not to the extent it does in the Philippines. The Philippines might be the furthest place away and a pain in the neck to get there. But the beauty of the opportunity can not be surpassed. Take it or leave it. You think I'm gonna lose any sleep if you leave it? I don't even know you. You don't even know me. You don't even know the Filipina P. You don't know anybody in the media, on YouTube, not really. So get to know yourself, get to trust yourself. I don't want you to remember me. I don't want you to, to put me on a pedestal. I want you to put yourself on that pedestal. And if anything, I'm as good as Phil. I can do what Phil did. Yes, you can do what I did. But you gotta have that fire burning there in your stomach. And never let it be extinguished until the deed is complete until you come to the Philippines, until you find that Filipina, that you, that you, that you wanted. Not the Filipina I wanted, that you wanted. In every which way, looks, character, heart, family, the area, the location of where she lives, everything. You designed the rest of your life the way you wanted it. Not the way you've had it back there in the West, where it's designed for you if you're lucky and you have no real say in it. Do it, do it, you have every opportunity. Don't waste the chance that you've been given. I didn't, I could have still been there with you, watching these videos and dreaming because you're dreaming. While you haven't obtained what you want, it's a dream. I was dreaming too. I had to get off of my butt and stop the frigging dreaming because the dreams would get me nowhere. Do the same and the rest of your life will be a happy life. The rest of your life will be a good ending to a sad story that started off not because that's how you wanted it to be. It's just the way things were. The ball is in your court. You have the opportunity. Use it, use it, use it. Use it.